<laughs> and we are live with Sparkles. This week, the home ground brought to you by the one and only glorious Box Hill, one of the uh, one of the old cl uh, clubs in the competition, the Unquenchables, as they know, the Quenchies. We have here today uh, an old stalwart of the club, a legend, you might say, Dennis Collard. And uh, a recent entry to the club from uh, across the sea, uh, young Kenny over here. Gentlemen, welcome. Thank you. Cheers. Now, I'll well, start with Dennis. Dennis, you've been around the club uh, for a couple of hundred years. Yeah. Uh, can you tell us what Box Hill is all about? Well, Box Hill is a family club. We've, got, we've always had a very, very strong association with uh, juniors and, and trying to de develop the game in the uh, eastern suburbs. And uh, that's very much permeated through the, the whole of the club and has continued up to this day. Strong juniors. Excellent. And how about the Masters? How have they uh, grown in Box Hill? Well, it started off as fourth grade and then it went to special grade and then it came to a Masters grade. And uh, um, we nearly fell apart with uh, other clubs requiring their players to, to play in, in higher divisions. But eventually uh, it was Maroondah and Box Hill who kept it going. And then uh, we had the right uh, people coming in to uh, Managed the uh, the whole process, and we ended up having an extremely strong and developing competition now. Yes, you do. And now uh, part of that is uh, Kenny over here. Kenny, you're from uh, across the shores uh, in America. You're you're a Yank living here now. Yeah, um, Denver, Colorado. De yeah. There you go, Denver, Colorado. Can you give us a bit of uh, an insight for for someone coming from across the seas? How does um, playing um, over 35s rugby at Box Hill uh, compare to back home? I think the competition is similar. Rugby, I think, is the same. A lot, a lot of similarities around the world. We, uh, I came, I've been here about two years, and um, I started playing late in life at about 20 years old. So, so I built a community back in Denver with friends and mates, and my kids grew up as I was playing rugby, and then masters rugby in the states. And I found a great club that has great community, great brotherhood, that uh, you can go out on Thursday night, play touch, have a couple beers. And you know you, you build your network here through the rugby club, so that's why that's why it's uh, that's why it's uh, so good. Yeah, we get you know we get it's lots about of the people you meet. lots of good community blocks uh, at uh, uh, rugby over here. <laughs> um, awesome, that's that's excellent. That's what we want to hear. Now, um, have you found it easy to uh, to join up with Box Hill uh, as, as a newcomer? Yeah, it's it's been. I found Box Hill, great bunch of guys, and then the big masters program seems to me it's just really taken off. And there's this whole community of another hundred guys, hundred families that, that are coming out and participating. And to me, that's what rugby's all about. Awesome. Good answer. Now, Dennis, this one's for you. Um, there are lots of people going to be watching this. Uh, there might be a, a couple of potential recruits out there uh, for Box Hill, might live in the area, might be thinking of doing a, a bit of uh, Masters Rugby. What would you like to say to them? Well, listen, guys, it doesn't matter how old you are, how unfirm, infirm, I should say, you are. Come, <laughs> come down on a Thursday night. We play touch rugby, and that's a good start. And if you enjoy that, you can easily uh, transition into playing competitive uh, Masters rugby, which is such a, a great time. Awesome. And that's obviously Box Hill Rugby Club and the over 35 team, the Quenchies. Thank you, gents, uh, for this interview. Uh, enjoy the game. Cheers, Paul. Cheers.